Hello, this is RCKY, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm bringing you the quick review for the Lenovo A1000 tablet. Now this tablet is a budget tablet for 149 for 16 gigs of storage. It has a front camera with no rear camera, and it does have, however, front stereo speakers, which do sound uh, very well. Now, the thing is, is uh, Lenovo's interface isn't the easiest to use. Although it's not too laggy, it's uh, very different. For instance, just to delete an app, you have to kind of hit the X here after editing mode comes out. That's not deleting it, that's just getting it off your screen. So it's, it's a very tricky interface and I do caution, even if you know Android, you will get a little bit of getting used to with this uh, tablet. Um, it's not the best in terms of uh, parts. It doesn't feel like very bad compared to cheaper Android tablets. Um, it's definitely not on the level of like the Kobo's or um, Digital Life and um, the really no-name brands. It's better than that, but this is a tablet that for some reason is a seven inch that's designed for landscape because of how it feels and how it curves and feels uh, unappealing uh, on portrait mode. The screen is one of the worst qualities of this tablet, however. Um, their own wallpaper just looks very bad. And I mean, normally your own wallpaper is supposed to make your screen the best it can be, but their own wallpaper looks uh, just terrible. The screen is probably the worst part about this tablet. You do have expandable storage in the micro SD card slot, so you can add another 32 gigs on here um, with the built-in 16 that's already on here. So for the price of 149, you have 16 gigs of storage. Uh, it beats out any tablet uh, currently right now in terms of price point versus storage. However, is that enough? Um, not a lot of apps uh, do work for it or are compatible. For instance, one I thought was funny that didn't work for it was uh, Best Buy, which is where I purchased this from. The Best Buy app itself can't be loaded on here. Uh, it, it's, it has its issues, definitely. Uh, another thing I was very discouraged by was uh, the version with a rear camera, which was the A3000, I believe, um, came in at only $30 more. Uh, however, it lost the front stereo speakers for uh, speakers in the back. So that was very disconcerting and um, just makes me kind of think, what is Lenovo doing really? Or do they know what they're doing? Um, overall, for this tablet, if you're really in a budget uh, experience, then maybe you might want to get it. Otherwise, I think you are better going off uh, with um, possibly a Samsung Gas Tab 3 7.0 or um, definitely a Nexus 7 for your money. Uh, is this one worth it uh, otherwise for anyone? Well, if you're very budget conscious and you just really do not want to spend over uh, $200 or $200 itself, then yes, you can get this maybe for a kid that's kind of learning uh, and playing with tablets and just really more for fun and little kid games, good. for. Uh, web browsing though and emails, it's still uh, not as uh, quick as you would probably want it to be for daily uh, usage like that. All right, guys, this has been a quick review. If you have any questions on the Lenovo A1000, feel free to ask. This has been RICKY, the Android guy.